All right, hey guys, this is Butch, and I have been wondering myself about the difference between humidity and dew point. So a lot of people I know are confused about that, and I think I have it figured out. Another rainy day, drinking some coffee, smoking some Cornishman in my little pipe that could. There are two kinds of humidity, but there's probably more than that, but there's absolute humidity, which is how much water vapor is in the air, regardless of the temperature. But humi relative humidity is dependent on temperature and pressure. And that's what we usually get our stuff, our, that's where we get our humidity from, our readings. So for instance, warmer air per cubic, whatever it is, yard or whatever they use as their standard, can hold 30 milliliters of water. Whereas colder air, I forget what temperature, 30 degrees, can only hold five milliliters of water. So the relative humidity though would be high for the colder temperatures because it can only hold five milliliters. So if they're both holding the same amount, of water, let's say two milliliters, let's say 2.5 milliliters. The, at the colder temperature, the humidity is going to be at 50%. Whereas at the warmer temperature, 2.5 is going to be 12%. 8.5%. Even though it's more water, it is relatively less human because of the potential for more water. I hope that makes sense. So colder air can hold less water for whatever reason. Warmer air can hold more water. So the humidity is relative to the actual temperature. I don't know how how air pressure affects that and I don't want to know. I've just always been curious because I live in the south and it's humid here and people always talk about well the humidity is at 85 percent well if it's warm out that's a lot of water um, no that's not as much water as 85 percent at cold and in the winter the humidity is usually down a lot anyway a comfortable Humidity for indoor living is between 40 and 60 percent. Sorry, um, is between 40 and 60 percent. So, you know, which can be affected by different things: showers, sweating, heat. So, dew point though is how you measure mugginess, and that's where I was confused until I just did some research, which I love to do research on things I'm confused about. It is another beautiful southern thunderstorm today. The, the hurricane or whatever it was, it wasn't a hurricane, but the storm came right over Birmingham yesterday and we were just drenched. And uh, I mean, I, I know North Carolina got it bad. Uh, we got the eye of it, which was not an eye, but it was the rotational part. Anyway, I digress. So dew point. Dew point is the temperature at which the air will release its water in the form of dew, fog, rain, it could be. So dew point determines how muggy the temperature is going to be. So if you go to the Weather Channel and you go on the, well, my phone doesn't display this, but when I go online it does. It'll show you the dew point. A dew point above 60 is going to start to be noticeable. Um, all right, it's, yeah, it's going to start to be noticeable as far as the mugginess goes, is what I was trying to say. 
Above 65, it starts to be something you're complaining about. Above 70, you, it's just muggy. And you feel like you have a beast on your back gnawing at your neck. The dew point is always going to be lower than the temperature. I don't know why that is, but that's, that's what I read on the internet. But I think it was NOAA site. Whatever that is, Northern Oceanic, National Oceanic, something. Well, anyway, dew point is the mugginess. Humidity is just how much water is in the air based on the temperature and the pressure. If you want to know how muggy it's going to be on a given day, check your dew point. Because that's when the water gets released, the water vapor that's in the air, the relative humidity, that's when it will get released as water in some format. Clouds, dew, rain, fog. That's what happens when the temperature almost meets the dew point. You get water. Humidity, just how much water is in the air. How much it can hold is absolute humidity. How much it is holding is relative humidity based on the temperature and the pressure. So, probably worthless information. But I was curious about it, so I figured there might be someone out there who's curious about it too. So, you guys take care, and have a great day.